Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is going to be my empties video. Now I'm not really sure what number it is, but I have done a lot of these empties videos. I will have the playlist in the description box if you're interested to check out more empties videos. I personally love watching empties videos because I feel like the person will be able to give a more accurate uh, review after they have used the product up. So that's what we are going to do today. If you are interested to find out about the empties which I have today, then please continue watching. Okay guys, let's quickly get started. So I try to do these videos every month uh, so that I don't do a huge empties video like after six months or something because I used to do that and those videos used to be so so long but I'm pretty sure this video is going to be long as well. Before we start, what I have on my eyes today is the new uh, like new for me the Colourpop Supernova shadows uh, I got three new shades this is the shade over again I don't know if you can see this is just so so pretty I got this quite some time back actually I will put uh, the swatches and everything on my blog so make sure you're following me on Instagram and my blog as well if you want to see the three shades swatch so right now I have six of the supernova shadows and i'll be swatching them all on my blog now we have that out of the way let's begin with the empties video so i have a big bag this is the bag which i use most of the time my sephora bag and yeah let's just get started i have a few products i think let's just start as i go i just dropped something okay so the first products are like body washes so the first one is from this is a brand called jinvera world spa so i'm not really sure if you get it at a lot of places where is this brand from it's made in malaysia so i guess it will be available in indonesia singapore southeast asia region so it's a big big bottle i think this was 750 ml product and this is a lemongrass and frangipani with natural exfoliant and micro beads shower scrub wash and i absolutely love this this is so good it smells so fresh the scent of it is just so soothing. Uh, I love lemongrass. That's one of my favorite scents of all time. Like in uh, these kind of products. In fact, my Becca primer also smells like that. So I really like that as well. And that's why I got it. And I think it's a really good uh, body wash as well. It doesn't uh, leave your skin feeling dry or anything. And it's it has tiny beads as well. So I thought this was a pretty good body wash and a scrubbing body wash. And yeah, I think I will definitely uh, wouldn't mind repurchasing this. The next product is the Guardian uh, body wash. Guardian is a drugstore brand here. So this is their in-house body wash. They actually have a lot of skincare products. And some of them are actually quite good. Some of them are just okay. I haven't found a bad one yet. But uh, I think this is pretty good. I think this one most of it is my husband has... Uh, finish it off and this one has birch bamboo and rose extract purify and cleanse a body wash i think these are not very expensive i think for the price the quantity you're getting i think it's a pretty good body wash will i repurchase this i'm not really sure i wasn't really wowed by it the scent and fragrance was okay but i don't know if i'll repurchase it probably my husband will next i have this one this is from the brand called shoku butsu i still don't know how to pronounce this Shokubutsu. Yeah, so this is like I used to use it uh, quite a long time back as well. I have tried a lot of their products. This is a quite an inexpensive brand here in Singapore. It's a Japanese brand and this is made in Thailand, but I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese brand. So this is like a radiance moisturizing uh, facial foam. It has mulberry and oat milk. Yeah, I did not really like this one. I got it on sale. It was around two dollars or something. So I thought let me try it but it says radiance and moisturizing foam but I think for me it wasn't that moisturizing it left my skin feeling very dry so until and unless you are uh, like doing your skincare right after you're washing your face you should be fine and I think it did the job pretty well it got my face pretty clean it didn't really remove my makeup or anything it was like a I was not really impressed so will I repurchase this I don't think so I will be repurchasing it's a very inexpensive product but I don't think I will repurchase it next we have like always a uh, micellar cleansing water this is my Biore makeup remover and it's really good I just love this micellar cleansing water I don't know it has been featured in so many empties of mine 
I go through this like water like this is one of my favorite uh, cleansing waters it's pretty comparable to the bioderma one it, you just need a little bit and it just takes all of your makeup mascaras everything everything completely uh, the only thing with this is that it does irritate my eye a little bit it says that it can be used to remove eye makeup as well but if this touches my like inner portion of the eye then it does irritate my eye that's the only con i have for this otherwise it's a great great product it's a drugstore product i think these retails for around uh, 14 dollars or so and there's always some kind of sale so that's a great product i currently don't have another micellar water this one if you have seen my sephora haul then you probably know that i got two new micellar water so probably i'll finish those first one is a cleansing oil i'll finish those first and then i will get a new micellar water next i have this one okay this one was actually really good this is from the brand called shloka this is how the bottle looks like this is from india and this is uh if you are aware of a brand called modi care uh, I don't know, somehow it's related to Amway or not, I'm not really sure. This one also my uh, mother-in-law gifted me. So any Amway products or any Modi care products I have are all gifted to be my mother-in-law because she is a consultant, she does for like, uh, just as a hobby. So this is a 3-in-1 cleanser, toner and makeup remover and it has green tea and chamomile extract. So this is how the bottle looks. This was was quite surprising, I really liked it. It retails for 300 rupees uh, and it's 200 ml product. But it's formulated in France supposedly. Some of these like lesser known brands I'm pretty skeptical to try at first but when I tried this I was really amazed. It's a really good quality makeup remover. This product could take off my makeup quite effectively and it's a toner as well. It's very soothing. It has green tea and chamomile extract so it was really soothing for the skin. And I really enjoyed it. I was so surprised. So if you guys have access to this, definitely go, do give this one a try. It's not very expensive. It's 300 rupees. Uh, I think the Garnier micellar waters and all, they are for 250 or something if I'm not wrong. So I think this is a better product, better ingredient product than those micellar waters. So do give this one a try. I think you might like it. So I definitely like it. Next, I have this one from the Soap and Glory. Now this is my hand food, uh, hand cream. I think this is my second tube. The first tube, I don't know where it went. I got another one. So this is a non-greasy hand cream. If you have been following me for a while, you guys probably know that this is one of my favorite hand creams ever. This is from Soap and Glory and Soap and Glory can be found in Sephora here. It's not available in online Sephora. You have to go down to Sephora and there you can find it. It's not too expensive, it's not too cheap, it's somewhere in between. But I really think it's totally worth what you're paying for. It contains shea butter, macadamia oil and marshmallow. And I'll tell you, it's so so hydrating. It says it's non-greasy and I completely agree. When you apply this and it just instantly absorbs into the skin and your hand feels so moisturized but your hands don't feel greasy. I hate greasy hands, like I don't even use so many kind of oils. I just hate greasy hands. I hate the feeling of oil on my hand, on my face. I don't know how I use facial oils. And greasy hands are like no-no for me. So this is like absolutely amazing. It's just so moisturizing for my dry hands. So I will highly recommend this hand cream for you. Soap and Glory hand cream. I just love it. Okay, let me move a little back and get my bag here. Okay, next we have a few makeup and skincare products. Uh, first one is the Codeli Beauty Elixir. I think this is also my second or third bottle. I, I'm pretty sure I featured in my previous empties. This is one of my favorite setting mists. It's pretty expensive. It's Codeli, but I really love it. It's called Beauty Elixir and it's a smoothing, glowing complexion uh, setting mist. So this can be applied like on your face just like that. Uh, it just soothes the skin really nicely. It has a lot of good ingredients. It has a minty sensation like on hot days if you're feeling like your skin is feeling very dry I just go and uh, spray a little bit it just instantly refreshes the skin and it's also really good uh, over your makeup I just love to use this as a setting spray I feel like my skin is getting some nourishment it actually gives a very healthy 
like uh, instantly refreshes the skin you can immediately see that your skin is feeling very healthy and glowy so this is like one item i like to splurge on i always get the smaller bottle i think the smaller bottle is around 25 dollars or 30 dollars i don't really remember so if you get the smaller one it doesn't pinch you that much so that's why i get the smaller one but it's a pretty expensive a product but I think it's totally worth it next I have a few like smaller Sephora micellar waters I have spoken about them in the past as well Sephora micellar waters are my favorite one of my favorites rather and they are just really really good this one is the triple action cleansing water and you must have seen in my haul as well I have got a Sephora cleansing oil micellar water so I'm really excited to try that this is like their standard micellar water like very effective and this is the eye makeup remover so this one is like the emulsion where you have a remover uh, on the bottom and oil on top and you're supposed to shake it you'll get an emulsion and use that for your eye makeup or lip makeup so i have a little bit left this will be used to remove my lip today because what i'm wearing on my lips today is the balm cosmetics uh, lipstick i'll have the shade name in the description box i always have the lipstick details in the description box and the balm lipsticks they are very comfortable i really love them but they are just a pain to remove so i always need this one or something oil based to remove my uh, balm lipsticks okay then i have this one from uh, the body shop uh, this is the japanese cherry blossom body lotion let me smell it yeah it's that one so it's a pretty decent body lotion but i personally wouldn't be getting it because i have like very bad association with this body lotion uh, if you guys have children then you probably would understand me so i used to use this when i was expecting my first child and i used to use this in my first trimester i used to love this product like the japanese uh, cherry blossom line it's one of my favorite line was one of my favorite line from body shop but when i was using uh, in my first trimester uh, you know the, how the first trimester is you get all pukey and morning sickness and all that and I used to use this body lotion and the body butter that time and I have the scent of this associated with my morning sickness and all that time so it just reminds me of that time and I have very negative association with this scent like it just reminds me that I am feeling pukey <laughs> well, well the scent is actually really nice but it just reminds me of that time so that's the only reason I will not get it. I know that's a very strange reason. But the product I think is really good. I used to love the Cherry Blossom line at one point of time. I don't anymore just because of the scent. Okay, next product is a mascara empty. This is my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I'm just so sad that it is over. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my 25 products makeup collection, I have mentioned this mascara in there. Do check out that video. This is like one of my most preferred mascaras. I have a lot of mascara favorites. I think this is one of my most preferred mascaras. I love it so much. The wand of it is just so amazing. It just coats each and every lash. You get a lot of volume, length. You can never, I mean, nothing can beat this. And it's just four or five dollars. I have a new Essence mascara. I'm trying it out, but I'm not able to find this Essence Lash Princess. So any, if any of you guys know where to find this one because I have been to 3-4 Watsons. This one is not there anymore. It's so so popular I guess. I'm so sad. It's over. I really want to get another one. The next time I see it I will probably get one or two or three and just get some backups. This is so good. I will highly recommend that. Then I have another small mini size of the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud uh, Cleanser. This was also pretty good i wouldn't say it's a bad product it's not like something wow as well it was pretty mild actually i think it will really suit a lot of sensitive skin girls as well it has deep pore cleansing action uh, deep pore cleansing mud with a five percent glycolic acid so it's really good for uh, removing dead skin cells and everything it claims to be a gentle yet active cleanser exfoliates to remove dead skin cells and reveal more radiant and healthy skin so as they mentioned, it's a gentle cleanser. I will highly agree that it's a very, very gentle and mild cleanser. If you have sensitive acne prone skin, I think you might really like this one. Uh, for my skin, I don't really have a sensitive skin. So I, I think it was a little too gentle for me. I need something a little bit 
heavy duty something more foaming this is like really nice soothing cleanser so i don't mind repurchasing it i would love to try a bigger tube and see how it is for a longer period of time then i have this one is empty this is also really sad for me i will definitely get this one when i go to india this is a sugar fade proof kajal this is a twist and shout uh kajal in black velvet so it is the blackest of black and it's completely gone i don't have anything to show you this is such a good kajal guys i really really like it it's very very black it may not be the most creamiest one which i have used that's the only thing i have this is creamy as well this is also very smooth and creamy but i have used kajals which are more creamier if a product is too creamy then it just finishes very very quickly so i don't mind that but this one is super fade proof like it says it's fade proof kajal and i totally agree it's like so black and it just stays on the waterline for forever like forever and it doesn't smudge it doesn't budge and i did a test once of all the kajals i had i wish i had filmed a video then i i literally just marked all the kajals on my hand and i was just going around the day doing my work and i wanted to see which was the kajal which lasted the entire day on my hands like i do a lot of house chores i wash dishes i did everything with my kajal swatches here and this was the one this fade proof kajal was the one it looked like i just applied it like at the end of the day also it looked like it was intact other kajals faded just a little bit here and there but this one it looked like intact and i was so so impressed i hear the plum kajal is also really good so i'm trying to get that one also to see how good it is next i have another kajal also i have gone through so many kajals this is also one of my other favorites this is a color bar mesmerize kajal and this is also really good i have a little bit left now this one is a little bit more creamier so i think many people will prefer this one because this one is also black this one is also like doesn't fade uh, or budge this is also like really good it's like this one but this one i felt the sugar one was more long very than the color bar one at least on my waterline everybody has different waterline but this one is definitely more creamier than the sugar one so that's a slight difference in both the kajals but i love both of them i will definitely buy both of them and next i have the la girl slim shady brow pencil this is in the shade black this also i really like i have spoken about this uh, quite a few times recently and this one is a pretty good brow pencil uh, at the drug store brow pencils are very difficult to find here for like darker hairs all the brow pencils which i have found are pretty light like they will be more brownish so this is like the first drug store brow pencil i found after my sleek brow pencil and i really liked it this is like quite creamy quite smooth uh, so it got over really quickly if it was a little bit less creamier also i think it would have been fine like the abh brow wiz they are creamy but not too creamy not too waxy somewhere in between this is like a little bit more creamy so that's the only thing to keep in mind uh, it's pretty easy to draw brow hairs with this as well it has a spoolie at the end also and it's nice to spread out the brow product so i think everything is great i don't hate this product i don't mind repurchasing the la girl slim shady brow pencil and next i have one more skincare product i forgot to mention this now this is the estee lauder micro essence this is a skin activated treatment lotion so i guess it's more of a toner so i was using it as a toner after cleansing the face now this product i got in a set i have actually got the set here to show you guys so this is the set which i got from estee lauder and i have got a few uh, of you asking me how is this set so i'm still going through this serum and i'm still using the eye cream so i don't have a full review on it but i can still talk about it a little bit so that set had a serum this is the advanced night repair serum and i have been wanting to try that for years it's like quite expensive so that's why i never purchased it but when i saw that it is in a set i went ahead and purchased this and it also has a eye cream now i'm using these two products as i already mentioned so i don't have a complete review uh but i would say that i am not super impressed with the night serum the advanced night recovery serum i mean this night recovery serum is so so expensive i thought it is going to be something magical it's just going to transform my skin or something 
but to be very honest i haven't really noticed that kind of like wow uh, effect with my skin after using this i have been using this for a quite a long time i have used this for two to three weeks already and uh, i have been like on and off with it i will i will not lie so that's why i am not giving a full review but my initial impression is that i i am not impressed i personally wouldn't get a full size of it i don't really see a lot of change in my skin and it can also be because of the fact that i don't really have a lot of problematic skin but even so with some serums i do notice a lot of difference uh, in my skin even though i don't really have a lot of problems with this one i did not really see a lot of like drastic change or you know something i mean whenever i use a good serum i know that this one is good like the green tea seed serum this is better than this one i feel like i saw something different in my skin uh so this one if you are looking to purchase i would recommend you to see some more reviews because for me i don't think i like it enough to purchase a full size it's not really working for me as i was expecting it to work considering it's a really really pricey product and the eye cream on the other hand i quite like it uh the advanced night repair eye cream it's really hydrating and moisturizing uh in my eye area uh so this one if it's not that expensive i wouldn't mind purchasing a full size but this is also a really big like a tub of eye cream i have already finished quite a lot and i use it every night and it's really hydrating and this one feels like it's giving my eye area a lot of life so i do like the eye cream but i'm not really that thrilled about the night serum now let's get back to my empty now this is a toner this one also unfortunately it's like the uh, night overnight night repair this one also i don't really see a lot of difference in my skin i don't know this is like one of those toners where i go like why am i using this because i honestly don't see a lot of difference i have used pixi glow tonic which is like one of my most a uh, favorite toners with that i have seen a difference in my skin but with this one i haven't seen that kind of like difference probably if you have problematic skin if you have like fine line wrinkles i don't know it might work so i will definitely recommend you to check out more reviews i mean these things are expensive for a reason for me these two products didn't really work out the eye cream is not bad i really like the eye cream so that's my mini review of the st lauder an um, advanced night repair kit night repair kit or whatever i will definitely get back to you on this one i am still using it so that's not my complete review that was my initial impression and the last empties of the day is another lipstick and this is my smashbox lipstick in the shade bows and i think it's time to say goodbye and i know i have been like emptying smashbox lipsticks like anything but because i wear them like anything and i have worn this lipstick a lot the shade bows and i think it's finally like it's pretty empty but i still have a, f a little bit left but i think the formula has changed it is kind of dried down and it's not the same formula anymore it doesn't glide on the lips it's quite dry in the tube as well so i had it for a long time the smashbox lipsticks i think uh, after a point you can tell that it has expired because the formula changes it does dry down a little bit so if you get smashbox lipsticks that's such a tongue twister then make sure you are using them before they expire so those are all the empties for now i thought there were just few empties and i but i feel like this video is also going to get really long uh, let me know if you have any questions regarding any of the products i will be happy to answer in the comment section below lately i know that there has been a delay in replying to your comments but i try to reply to everybody so if you have any questions just feel free to ask and yeah i think that's it for today i really hope you like this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching me today i will see you guys really soon in my next video bye